Direct Ouais, ouais. <rire> Direct. Ah, tout ouvert. C'est ouvert Vous avez de la chance. <rire> I guess uh, skiing really represents a lot of freedom, especially in um, environments like like this here. And um, if you're very skilled, you can really go wild, I guess. And uh, as we know, like club culture and techno culture or house music is also connected with freedom and with the freedom of expression and with the freedom to interpret um, music and communicating uh, the way that you want or the way that you feel. It's also kind of a mental thing. It's also very much in your mind. Uh, I mean, I'm, as I said, I, I don't practice it, so the way I imagine it is I think it's, uh, it's more like a mind thing and like a mind game or a sort of like meditation more than uh, a physical sports or actually mind can dictate what you do physically. <laughs> well, very good. Very good, yeah. <laughs> More? <laughs> I need to play as well. I'm already late for my set. <laughs> People like Jason is uh, the one we like and appreciate to hear because this is one of the people who built this music and um, make us understand what, what the next move, yeah, yeah. what the next move, you know. And uh, we really learn with him, so this kind of artist really impressed us. Tu vois, je pense que l'idée, c'est vraiment de mettre la scène là-bas, ouais. mettre tout le son euh, comme ça. Comme ça, du coup, ouais. ça... Comme ça, comme ça, tu as toute la salle euh, en balcon et tout qui voit l'artiste. So, I started a few years ago with uh, some friends playing in the mountains and uh, it just happened that it was amazing. So, they kept on coming year after year and now, now it's a kind of, of a big family coming back every year to, to enjoy the mountains and uh, share the experience of this festival. We had Marcel Detman coming once for a show and the year after he came with his family and uh, spent a few days here. It's the same now with Agoria, Laurent Garnier, Tale of Us, even my Plex. I mean, they're all coming for a few days and it's just great. The 
tombe pas, mon ami. Ne tombe pas. I'm kind of a resident of an unlimited Chamonix festival. I love this festival. I'm very close friend of the promoter José, who's doing an amazing job since like maybe five, six years he's doing this. And every time he have the luck, he book me for best locations. So I, I'm not very comfortable with altitude, <laughs> if I'm very sincere. So when I, every time I take this, these eggs to go to, I'm like, a, oh my God, you know, I don't feel that well. I'm not like the best skier ever, but playing in these conditions is, uh, you know, the energy with the crowd and the, how we share things. And even now you play, you know, I don't know with altitudes, you know, your brain, you're not calculating, you're not thinking much. I mean, your body is just thinking, okay, I have to save energy for the metabolism thing. And so the brain is disconnected and then you play very differently as you, if you would play in club. So there they were so many, so many artists, to be honest. Uh, if I'm very sincere, um, so let's be sincere. <laughs> I like to go to see my friends playing. You know, even if some artists are very amazing and, you know, we are touring so much and we are traveling so much. So when I'm in a festival, uh, I always prefer to go visit my friends, even if they're not famous or less famous than others. This is how I feel well with, uh, you know, sharing time. That's, that's uh, more my thing of festivals. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a DJ, I'm just a skier and, and I'm here for skiing and enjoying the event. But yeah, no, the, the, the main idea of this, of this event since the beginning, it was to, to bring different people around skiing. They come to party, they come for skiing and there's some like top skier. We have the world champion this year and there's some like just like people who just come to enjoy skiing and, uh, and have a good day. And it's, it's funny, like I think two nights ago, uh, probably two, three a.m. In the morning, I was at the Folie Douce Hotel, Adriatic was playing and, and some people come to see me and told me, hey Camille, uh, tomorrow morning we ski at 8 a.m. so just be sure to be awake. And, uh, and uh, I say, okay, okay, fine. And we all met the day after and, and we had this big group of skiers uh, and we all skied the whole morning together. And it was really this like sharing moment of like around skiing and the night after we've been how it again enjoying the music. I can't say that uh, a mountain has influenced our music in a big way, so I think we've never composed music in the mountains, no? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's probably, yeah, you could say like the, the big feelings you can have, you know, when you see the grandeur of a mountain. Um, so actually we then, are kids from the 80s, and in every second video music video that you could see on MTV, there was like guys standing on a cliff in, with mountains and sea and big view and stuff. And the wind. Probably, and and the wind. And so probably that's something that's stuck in, your, in our heads. And probably it's like, think big, you know, probably that's another thing that comes to your mind when you see these massive mountains, you know.
word about Chamonix? And yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, but we've never been, eh? We've never been before. No. It's the first time. Yeah. We think. We think <laughs> we've never been here before. We don't know, but we think we have never been here. <laughs> I played a couple of times in, um, in ski resorts before, like a couple of times for the X Games, and we were playing on the, uh, after, like on the piece, like when it, when it was there, um, and we played a couple of times snow bombing, a lot of them, in, in Austria, and a couple in, um, over the mountain in Italy, by the way, yeah. on the other oh, yeah. side. Um, oh, what, what city? What, like a beautiful theater inside of the mountains, but I, I feel like people when they ski in the evenings they really party hard. So it's kind of a good. It's always a good crowd to play for. Everyone's like, oh, these are really famous athletes, and like they had one hour before they went to bed, and they went nuts, party for like an hour, and then like go to sleep. Must perform tomorrow. Do like a, I don't know, seven somersaults. <laughs> so it's, so I think it's always good. The, the experienced mountains party is very equal. Basically, you know, we are taking care of the crowd. So we are just playing what the crowd want to. And I just want to play to the girls. So uh, I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna play like more funky stuff if it's more girl. But if we are like in a cave, like we have uh, no lights, we're gonna play like really techno stuff. <laughs> I really love coming back here and I have a feeling like this is my place, like I, I know this place, I know it's now also easy because I've been to many of the sites and also the, the mountaintops. You're isolated somehow, surrounded with uh, nature which is beautiful but also as nature is it could be dangerous and these are the kind of uh, situations where you have the high adrenaline, and that's uh, that's what I like. <laughs> so I think um, I think Agidi Midi is uh, my favorite. Every time I come here, I go up there. Maybe I don't see some other places, but I need to go up there. It's like uh, it's almost like going to a church. <laughs> yeah, we go to the kingdom. To, yeah, yeah. It's the the, it's like uh, to say hello and then. <laughs> Here. Yeah, we we had dinner with Armour, but we missed his show. I think Kink is playing as well. 
Stefan Buzin, of course, the fellow Adriatikis, German. Adriatikis, Adriatikis here. Many, a really good lineup. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm very happy to be part of a Chamonix family. <laughs>